G'day Ziggy D here with another Path of Exile guide. Now one of the most common themes of questions I get in relation to Path of Exile is just how to progress in the game, like how to make your way through Merciless. People tend to hit these walls and this is very common, they either hit a wall in uh, Late Cruel, uh, Act, sometime in Act 1 Merciless, Act 2 Merciless or Act 3 Merciless. They hit some sort of wall with the progression in the character and they're just unsure how to proceed. So in this series of guides, uh, I'm going to make three, I'm going to make one for each act, so this one will be covering Act 1, how to progress through Act 1 Merciless. And before I continue, I just want to point out, this guy is incredibly badass, look at this Templar. That's the microtransactions, support GG G and get some uh, awesome microtransactions. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to talk about how to progress through Act 1 on this. Uh, in the in the most basic of senses, and just tell you the bare minimum of what you need to get through Act 1, and the most easiest way to go about doing that. So when you first make it into Act 1, you actually have straight away a very good uh, way to farm and progress and give yourself a bit of gear. Uh, now, uh, assuming you've gotten through the end of Cruel, because that is actually a bit of a wall, and the way I usually get through the end of Cruel Act 3, is just to party up with a group that's taking on party. So I clear Act 3 as per normal, and then, which I'll explain obviously in the Merciless Act 3 video, but I clear that as per normal, then I jump, hook up with a group to kill party. As long as you can get through that party fight, you're into Merciless, and then uh, things, I think, is where po PoE starts to really come alive. So the first thing you can do is Twilight Strand. Now, Twilight Strand can actually be done as a pretty good farming run. No, it's not great for experience. In fact, uh, if you're feeling a bit underleveled, I recommend leveling up to about level 52 uh, before you uh, come into Merciless even. So you can actually do that in Cruel Lunaris Temple or in uh, some of the other zones in, in Act 3, whatever you feel you're most confident with. But personally, I really like to just push straight through to Merciless and to do it all in there. So Twilight Strand, which I'll, I'll load up for you guys here, and I'll just show you uh, and while I explain why this is uh, an, an interesting point for progression. Alright, so we just passed a ridiculously long loading screen. Now there's a few things that make Twilight Strand quite good. Now I've actually covered this uh, particular zone in another farming video for uh, farming up currency and legendary items. And the reason people do that is because it's such an easy thing to run. Uh, you can run it very quickly and there's a boss right at the end of it. So uh, you can basically do this, just basically just do straight ones. You can uh, do run, jump around, pick up those chests and just pick off the large the large packs in each area. So again, you'll have to excuse my frame rate issues. I am currently playing the Mac and not the best optimal for Path of Exile. So this is pretty much my first point of order when I get into um, Act 1 Merciless, is just to run this until I'm about to level 52. Now I usually, depending on my build, especially if I'm not playing in Hardcore, I'm currently playing in Anarchy League, so I actually progressed most of the way through Act 1, about 3 to 4 levels under leveled, but I recommend going to about uh, See, so this is a level 52 zone, if you at least get close to level 52, especially if you're not feeling particularly confident with progression. But uh, as you'll see soon, Act 1 isn't too hard to progress through because we can do it in a way that uh, skips over most of the difficulties that you'll have. So one of the main things about this is uh, killing Hillock repeatedly because you'll be doing you can just run this zone over and over again really quickly. Uh, the Hillock kills are pretty fast and he'll often drop a rare or two for you. Uh, so it's a good way just to get a few initial merciless pieces of gear and you can get some nice equipment there. Nothing there this time, but that's okay. So to restart this zone, and that guy just nice opening up that gate for me, uh, you basically just go to the waypoint and then uh, click on this zone, control click on this zone and go to new when the menu pops up and you can do it like that. Alright, so the reason I mentioned Twilight Strand as a farming zone first is just because uh, you want to get your gear just sorted just enough to progress through Act 1. And that means uh, pretty much only having enough resist to be around 0%. Now you can uh, resist is super important as you progress through the rest of Merciless, but it's actually possible to progress through pretty much all of Act 1 without any resist whatsoever. Uh, when I say that, I mean keeping them close to 0%. Obviously, if you don't have any resist resistance gear, then your resist is going to be well under capped and you'll have be minus numbers. Try to avoid that as much as possible because there are a few zones that can get you killed if you have minus resist. But as long as you've got your health or your energy shield under control, and that means, you know, getting starting to get a hold of some good armor, and that's actually, uh, if you're an armor based build, uh, then, or I guess an evasion based build is even more so important, but if you're one of those two types of builds, then I highly recommend at this point trying to get yourself some armor, like at least a chest piece with a percent armor mod. Uh, now I kind of want to go over these just these really crucially important stats. There's obviously a lot of important stuff like you really want to make sure you have life on each piece of gear if you're a life build or ES on each piece of gear if you're an ES build, but you want to at this point 
really be make sure you have your armor under control because otherwise you won't even be able to farm ledge and that's the next big point so before you can get to ledge and this is the goal for act one is to get to ledge and farm ledge until you can get to act two you pretty much uh, with Act 1 Merciless, you pretty much just farm Twilight Strand a little bit, or even bypass that completely, jump straight to ledge, farm that for a fair while, and then skip straight into Act 2, and I'll pretty much go straight Act 2 to um, the Fell Shrine Ruins. Uh, but basically, before we do that, there's one thing we have to do, and that is to uh, get the... Uh, progress through terraces, you have to clear through terraces normally, uh, go into the mud flats, uh, get you three glyphs and open the glyph wall. Now you only have to open that glyph wall, you don't actually have to go into uh, the submerged passage at all. And the way that the way that's easiest to do this is to, while you're clearing through uh, mud flats and getting those glyphs, very carefully because that is that that is this one real dangerous hurdle in this uh, map. Basically you want to be very either very slowly clearing through there, avoiding the rolls as much as possible, uh, or, or you know, running through and trying to grab those glyphs without attracting the attention of too many rowers. Uh, dangerous zone, but that's the one hurdle you have to overcome. And that's why I recommend for most people farming in Twilight Strand just a little bit. So gr grab those glyphs uh, and complete that glyph wall quest, and uh, you're pretty much good to go to get to ledge then. So the way to do that is to open up your social panel, go to public parties, and you're looking for ledge farming runs. So as soon as you've opened up that wall, you can instantly go through to ledge. You don't actually have to clear through those zones at all. So you just go, one of these guys like here, uh, join, and just kindly ask one of them to drop a TP for you. And then it's pretty much even good idea then to just start farming with the party. Especially if you're the first time you're just coming to ledge for the first few levels, uh, it might actually be a bit more difficult for you uh, to farm the particular zone. Uh, the reason why ledge is such a good zone to farm is you don't really need any resistances to farm it. And this comes back to that point that I was saying earlier where you only really need around zero resistances. You don't need to go too much higher to clear Act 1. And that's because most of the time you're going to be farming ledge. Uh, and as long as you know you can survive the hits, the occasional hits from skeletons, and skeletons are very slow, so most of the time they won't even hit you. Uh, as long as you can survive the occasional hit from those guys, you're okay. And completely avoid Kuduku. Don't even attempt to take on Kuduku. But you basically want to do ledge, uh, ledge runs, point A to point B, back and forth, resetting that zone over and over, until you are level 58, I think most people go into in ledge. Some people push it into the, well into the 60s. Personally, I pretty much just get to level 53 and then jump to Act 2. But if you're uh, having a lot of trouble in Merciless, then you can actually farm ledge for a very long time, uh, even, as I said, into the early 60s and I've heard of people going uh, ridiculous amounts beyond that but that's just because ledge is such an efficient place to farm even if you're severely over leveled for it and you're hitting that level penalty by quite a bit uh, you can still get a lot, quite a lot of experience just because the efficiency from it so just jump from large pack to large pack and completely avoid Kuduku either farm with a party if you're having trouble or if you have pretty good kill speed yourself and you don't really have any survivability issues, uh, then you can pretty much just do that. Uh, now, just in terms of survivability for ledge, all you need is to focus either on your health or energy shield, uh, and then armor. As I said, you want to make sure you get your armor sorted, because those guys will hit with a fair bit of physical damage, but there's no, no real elemental resist to worry about, so pretty easy zone to clear. Now, while you're doing ledge, and while you're getting, say you're getting to around level 58 or something like that, you're getting around that uh, stage where you feel like you can start to sort, you know, so you can start to progress. At that point, there's two things you need to start thinking about. Uh, first one is cold resist. Sorry, taking a step back a bit. Not cold resist yet. First thing to think about then is lightning resist. Uh, the, now the next point you're going to have to do is while you're why are you progressing along there? Uh, starting, start to think about trying to get some lightning resist. I think I still have my lightning resist sorted from that point. Yeah, not so much, but uh, if you can throw on a ring with double lightning resist or something like that, just to give yourself a bit over zero, like try and get up to like 40% or something like that if possible, and uh, you don't actually need any other resist really. And this is just to clear through the jail zones because there's quite a few lightning arrow people in there and they uh, can hit pretty hard, but you can still progress through very carefully with the party. So while you're farming through ledge, you're getting to around level 58 or something like that. You're going to want to open up your social panel again and go to a public party and there should be someone kill Brutus quest. There's pretty much always one of these quests running and you want to look for when they're in the upper prison. So basically if you see a party that's kill Brutus quest and they're either in, if we go back to here, they're either in the rocky climb or lower prison, then don't join the party yet. Just uh, keep keep uh, clearing the ledge, keep farming the ledge, you know, running there, getting more experience, getting a bit stronger and then when the party hits the upper prison, so just check here every now and then, when they hits the upper prison, or when they're almost full, uh, join in and help the party clear to Brutus and clear Brutus. Then as soon as you kill Brutus, you can pretty much leave the game. You don't even need to get that waypoint, technically speaking. And then go back to farming the ledge. 
and then while you're farming the ledge at that point, you want to look for Kilmer Vale. Now, <laughs> as you can see, you very much jump around in Act 1, like you don't actually at all really need to do the straight, you know, run through each particular zone. The only run you need to do is through Twilight Strand, then to the Mud Flats to do the Glyph War quest, then you can pretty much just jump straight to ledge, jump straight to killing Brutus, and then jump straight to killing Mervale. Uh, as you can see, like, I, I barely even touched the waypoints on a lot of these zones because I just jumped there through parties. And then once you've killed Mervale, you're into Act 2, and that's where starts, I think starts to get really fun. Uh, you can smash through Act 1 pretty quickly. Uh, the only thing you might want to get sorted out while you're doing your ledge farming after killing Brutus is a bit of cold resist, but Mervale is really easy to avoid, especially in a party situation, and I don't even think cold resist is that important. Just be careful if you have to clear with that party just up to the point of Mervale. Anyway, uh, if you guys have any questions about progressing through Act 1, like any other sort of gear you feel like you might need, or any other problems you might be having, you've hit a wall somewhere in this particular act, uh, feel free to ask in the comments below, and I'll, uh, tr I'll try to let you guys know uh, what I would do in that situation to try and progress through, but hopefully this covers everything. This is how I progress through Act 1, and it takes me a couple hours at most. It's pretty, pretty easy. Act 1's pretty good. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.